Just as its affordable IdeaPad consumer notebooks fill a niche below its business ThinkPads, Lenovo's IdeaPad gaming budget gaming laptops are for buyers who can't afford one of the company's premium gaming rigs, like the Editor's Choice award-winning Legion 7 Gen 7. The IdeaPad Gaming 3 is certainly affordable, $884 at Walmart, and an AMD Ryzen 6000 series processor, CPU, and NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics processor, GPU, give it passable 1080p performance. Unfortunately, its scant storage, dim display, and flimsy keyboard screamed economy model, landing the Gaming 3 below PC Mag budget favorites, like the under $1, 000 Acer Nitro 5 and just over $1, 000 MSI Katana GF66. The IdeaPad Gaming 3 is the AMD powered sibling of the Intel based IdeaPad Gaming 3i, which we reviewed here in July 2020. Both are 15.6-inch systems with full HD 1, 920 by 1, 080 pixel screens with a 120Hz refresh rate. Our test unit, formerly known as IdeaPad Gaming 315 ARH7 Model 82 SB0001US, combines a 6-core, 3.3 GHz, 4.5 GHz boosted, Ryzen 5 6600H processor with a skimpy 8 GB of memory, a skimpier 256 GB NVMe Solid State Drive SSD, and an entry-level GeForce RTX 3050 GPU, putting it at a disadvantage to RTX 3050 T and RTX 3060 machines. Clad in onyx gray plastic and polycarbonate, the Lenovo measures 0.86 by 14.2 by 12.5 inches. That's notably deeper than the Nitro 5, 1.06 by 14.1 by 10.7 inches, because of a Legion-like protruding rear block with several ports and blue-accented cooling vents. That said, the IdeaPad is lighter, 5.1 versus 5.5 pounds. There's considerable flex if you grasp the screen corners, though not much if you press the keyboard deck. Like many low-cost gamers, the IdeaPad Gaming 3 has neither a fingerprint reader nor a face recognition webcam, so you'll be stuck typing passwords instead of using Windows Hello. The camera is the usual low-rent 720p number, though it has a sliding privacy shutter. The side screen bezels are slim, but the top and bottom bezels are thick. Luckily, the display tilts far back, so finding the optimum viewing angle should be no problem. As for ports, you'll find one USB 3.2 Type-A port on either side, as well as an audio jack on the left. Around the back are an HDMI video out, an Ethernet jack, and a USB 3.2 Type-C port, plus the AC adapter socket. This being an AMD rather than Intel system, there's no Thunderbolt 4 port, though we don't penalize under Dash $1,000 laptops for lacking one. Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth take care of wireless connections. An SD or microSD card slot would have been nice, however. The keyboard is brightly backlit, just in white, don't look for an RGB rainbow, and has an attractive layout including a numeric keypad and dedicated home, end, page up, and page down keys on the top row. Unfortunately, the latter don't work if you toggle FN lock to access top row brightness and volume controls without holding the FN key. We're generally big fans of Lenovo keyboards but the IdeaPad's typing feel is more like a tablet's keyboard cover than an actual laptop. A good-sized, buttonless touchpad glides and taps smoothly but has a chintzy click. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.